Okay, we found a lot of Enderman. As you can see. Come on. Drop it. I don't know idea where they are coming are all coming from, but a tattoo tree. Let's eat. There you are. Hello, I'm looking at you. Come on, drop it. Yes, and a pearl. Cool. Finally. Oh, there you are. Hello. I'm looking at you. You better not knock me off, bitch. Oh, yo. What? Oh, there you are. Come on. Stop jumping. Yes, another one. Cool. We can now make two vacuum hoppers. Awesome. I think that's all. Wow. Yes, 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 yes. Nice. Yeah, we probably need to do a mob rider in there. And then we will have all the mobs we like. <laughs> Works really well. I like it. I like it. Cool. Great! Hey, our ingots! Awesome! Well, I can do this for hours and hours, basically. But we have what we want. So I'm gonna set a couple of things up and I'll be right back, guys. Okay guys, so as you can see, uh, we now have the ender pearls and we're gonna make a vacuum hopper. This thing, we're gonna make that, that one. Oh, how much obsidian do we have? Oh, we still have one more. And then we just need to add the ender pearl. There, a vacuum hopper. This thing is awesome. You see all these things on the ground? When we place this one in there, it will attract all those items. And then we just have to set which one is the output. Uh, I think it's this side. Let's see, yes it is. So now this one will grab all the things we got from the uh, sheave, sieve, and it turns it, put it in this, this trunk box, and then we just add an ME basic import bus, and it imports it all into the system. There we go, awesome. Now there's one other thing I noticed we have, and that's which we have another emerald. Now one of the first things I want to upgrade is this one, autonomous activator because we want to speed this thing up. So we're gonna place another one underneath this, underneath here. Um, can we do it like this? Wait, let's see if it's outputting to the right side. I think it's correct, yeah, it should be. There. So now we will get a lot, the research will come faster. That's really good. Oh, let's get the green thingy for the door. Oh, door there. Awesome. Now, great. Uh, there's another thing I like. I almost died a couple of times because I forgot to, um, because I got forgot, I forgot to eat. So it would be nice if we can get the power suit. Oh, does this thing have a power suit? No, it doesn't have the power suit. Oh, that sucks. Mm. Oh, that sucks. Because that thing will be awesome. We will be able to fly. Oh. I don't think you can make it with this one. 
Oh well, too bad. No jetpack, no. Oh wow, wow, okay, that's cool. That makes it a little bit harder to be honest, but that's okay. Hmm. Okay, what else can we do then? Well, I was thinking about making uh, applied logistics, about making the um, crafting CPU. So we need to make a crafting system that will automat automatically craft, craft things for us. So I was thinking we can make that one. Uh, we can make um, the... Um, we need a couple of crafting CPUs. We need a lot of stuff. So we can basically... I think we need two of these. Yeah. Oh wait, and then we need to add it to the uh, processors with the crafting CPU. You can automatically craft stuff, so that would be really, really awesome. So what else do we need? We need one, two, three of these basic processors. We already have a couple in the system. Let's get cook the raw rubber. Oh wait, let's make a, a another export bus right now. I think that's probably the first thing we need we can do with the export bus and reposition export bus. We need a piston. Ah, all out of power. There. A piston. We need Oh, we're doing it. The export bus, right? Where is it? Export bus over here. We need this one. And we conversion matrix. And let's make an ME interface. And then we need to make a basic export bus there. Then we just need another processing unit. We need to cook this one real quick. There. So we should have the processor unit right here. There, I mean, precision export bus. So right now, this thing. Uh, oh, yeah, we're going to remove the cobblestone for now. There. So it will only process the dust or dust and stuff. We are going to remove this cable and add this precision export thingy. Then we are going to say to the system, we want all the pulverized metal we've already pulverized, like the copper, uh, the gold, oh wait, a pulver ferrous, gold, oh, and it needs to be thermal expansion. Pulverized stuff and not the other one. Ex nihilio is the wrong one. There, I think that's it for now. And we need to ex add that to the precision export bus. There, so if we re-add these to the system, you will see it will start to make all these items. We're gonna remove these there. And there's a, b a basic uh, import bus on the back side of it. So now all the ores will be processed in here and then we will get them into the system. So that's done, that's fixed that we were, we're processing that right now. Oh, I've got to, got to move this stuff anyhow. Uh, we've already done a couple of things in here that we are going to process. So if we just select ore in here, we can grab all the ore and then oh, uh, make items out of it. There. This is just what we, what we have to do right manually right now. And I prefer it if we can do this automatically and that's where the processing auto crafter comes in handy which I hope to be able to show you real soon let's get this done real quick Uh, 
Okay. That's fine for now. Let's add this all to the system. There. And this, then the pulverizer. Oh, let's get these as well. Should start working again. It should start pulverizing all the stuff. Let's remove the outputs. Only on the back, sorry. The backs need to be available because. Oh. Really? Stop stealing my blocks. You mother. What did you drop? Nothing. Too bad. <clears throat> okay. Uh, where were we? Okay, so it's now pulverizing all the stuff and then it's turning them into ingots. So we should have a lot of ingots. Yay. Now we want this to be able to automate it. So, uh, yeah. Uh, we need to process a unit for, unit for that. So let's see how we're going to make it. Uh, we are going to need this the crafting CPU there. We only need one for now. We need the ME pattern provider for which we need one more of that thing. What is it? A storage cell. I can do that. Hmm, raw. Let's get a raw rubber and add that to there as well. We might need another one. Hmm. Okay, let's get the raw rubber first. We need that one as quickly as possible. <clears throat> okay, oh, what's this? A better storage device. Flux pearls, cool. Okay, anyhow, uh, let's see. We need this one, we need the storage cell. For that, and we need the raw plastic. Where is the rubber bars? How many of those do we have? 43, okay. Let's cook them first. Okay, what else do we need? We also need a containment wall. This one. Uh, we need a lot of these. We need a total of eight on the bottom, eight on the top, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight on the side. So we need a total of three times eight. I have no idea. 24. Yay, I'm correct. 24. Okay, so the problem is in iron. That's fine. We should have a lot of iron. Well, not yet, I guess, but we will do soon. There. How far is the raw plastic? Yeah, we have another silicon. Cool. That means we can make the pattern provider. Uh, we can make this one. Uh, let's cook that right now. And then add the raw rubber again. No, we can leave that out for now. Okay, cool. There, ME pattern provider, storage cell, pattern provider. Oh, what did we miss? Iron? Yeah, iron, okay. So let's get the pulverized iron from thermal expansion and place that in there. There. So now we should get some iron real soon. There, to There, pattern provider. So we are. We're gonna have to wait for a lot of iron. That's okay. That's okay, we can figure out where we want it. Go away, rain. Uh, we might want to do it, I wanna keep it, it's a cool processing unit, so we don't want it to put it too far away from this one. I might as well make it right here into the stairs, why not? It needs to be a uh, three by three as minimum, so we will uh, exp expand it in the future, but uh, it's gonna be a three by three for now. Oh, we don't need to remove this one, I think. We do need to remove these. Okay, there. We are going to expand in the future, but yeah, uh, I'm not really about looks, to be honest. So, Okay, we are, I'm gonna wait until these all are finished and we have all the items. I'm gonna show you one more that we need. So we need a couple of ME crafting CPUs, pattern providers, assemble containment walls, and we need the heat vents. For this, you need a lot of iron. See, you need iron bars. Oh, you may get 16, that's cool. So let's see how many we can make. One, oh, and we need cables, okay. So this is, we need, a lot of these and I'll explain you once they are done how many we need and where they go and everything so see you guys in a moment 